Greetings lords and ladies, Kaiser here and welcome to another episode of our Polish campaign in Crusader Kings 2. <clears throat> Sorry about that, my voice is still going a little bit off and on. On and off, off and on, on and off, there we go. So when last we left off, we had just defeated Bohemia. Though, sadly enough, the king had just swapped, so we will have a truce with this guy. Though he's already in hiding. Are people trying to kill him? I wonder. Yep, the chances of killing him are definitely great. Now, who are you? So he's a random guy that could take over. But if, he, but if the current king dies, we immediately have... Um, the possibility of going to another war. De jure claim on Greater Poland. Oh, what would we gain from that? Oh, Lubus. Yeah, de jure claim on Lubus. No, Lubus, no border dispute. Eh. Alright, so there are no possible wars for us right now, at least with Bohemia. Um, though once Domavui is dead, which hopefully is not soon, considering we don't even have a son, and even once we do get a son, we will have to wait for him to be an adult, otherwise every each and single one of the electors just say, he's just a baby, and does not want to vote for our son, despite the fact that it is an agnatic cognatic, with the agnatic being the main point there. We are not absolute cognatic, but we are will not be able to change back to um, absolute agnatic. Due to the fact that we already have previously changed the laws. Now vassals, let me see, who likes us, who hates us, and why do you hate us? H hates us, nice. Chief of Memel. Why do you hate me? Usurp title. That's not gonna go away for quite a while, actually. High Chief of Greater Poland. Siemowit. Why do you dislike me, Fire from Council? Yes, I did, because you were a little punk. Outraged by succession law change. You have absolutely nothing to do with it. Recently fired, so that's gonna go away soon. But he's still gonna be in quite the minus for whatever reason. No, seriously, why do you hate me so much? You're 62, so hopefully you die soon. But And hopefully your son is better than you are. So we won't be worrying about that guy. We will be worrying about this guy, though. Can I revoke the title? Can we perhaps... Plot to revoke the title. Gostinin Chelmno, Zimgele, Schmutz, Skalovia, Upper Silesia, Lomza, Sudovia, Podlasie. Nope, Memel is definitely not one of them. Schmutz is, though. Chieftain of Schmutz. So why are you of Memel? Oh, wait, that whole thing is yours? So if we plot to take Schmutz, we'll take Schmutz, that's for sure. And if he decides to go to war with us for it, he will be a traitor, which means that we'll be able to take another one, but he'll still be lord of another piece of land. Is it worth it? And we give this land to somebody that actually likes us, like uh, the chief of Kurzem, or Kurzem, not too sure. Can I declare- Oh, now suddenly everybody is up for the war! Well, well, well. So, Zambia or Marienburg? This has nothing. This has nothing. They're both useless, but we'll take one. <laughs> Though, I just realized, due to the fact that we have so many pragmatists in our council, once we declare war on one person, we'll actually have to finish the war before declaring another war. Which is a little bit shitty. Eh? Uh, You like us 100%, but just because... I mean, you like us 100%, but just because you are a glory hound, you disagree with any wars that are not against a literal superpower. F like France. <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? French Revolt also. Now, I won't lie, I actually tried to play this through even yesterday after I was forced to stop... Uh, well, forced. Um, how should I say it? 
I was made, not made to stop, it's not like somebody came into my room and told me to stop or shut up or anything. Uh, I just had to go out, not with friends, but there was a slight emergency. Uh, but after I came back, like it was too late to record, so I played a little bit of the game. Uh, and by a little bit, I mean I played till like 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, I was just curious what happens with Poland if we just keep playing. And a lot of interesting things happened, including France completely falling apart. The Umayyad were even stronger, the Asturias were gone, but let's not talk about hypothetical things. Let's see what we can actually do. Now, who do we go to war with? I say we go for Jersica, actually. Or Riga. Even better. I say we go for Riga? Because we do want to get as close to Novgorod as possible. That is our goal. Because right now... Uh, we either go for that... Uh, I mean, Rügen, we are uh, slowly getting the claim. We still only have one holy site, which we still have to build up, mind you. Uh, not to mention, we do have to have moral, enough moral authority. What? Did I say war elephants defense? Wow. Uh, lost holy wars. That is BS. We did not lose any holy wars. Temples looted. We did do that. Failed county conquests. When did we ever fail one? Partial control of Arcona. Right now, if we settle Plock... Oh, I see. It's just... Wait, is this... It just has to be controlled by Slavs, it seems. But I do have to have at least three of them in my control to reform the faith. Sorry, I keep thinking that, you know, you can move the map with the WASD. Um... Yeah, let's go for Riga. Conquest of Riga. Yeah, and let me show you what I mean. There we go, because they're pragmatists, they're gonna say the uh, opponent is... No way, they're not gonna say the opponent is too strong, but we're already busy fighting another war, even though that war is right next to us, and it is a very... Or rather, it will be a very, very quick war. Now... At this point, I could literally just say, hey guys, how about you just raise up your army? I don't even have to raise up my levy. Let, let's have our levies actually um, reinforced a little bit. But I can literally just say, hey, raise up your armies. You have a new heir. Thank you very much. Please play as that one. Uh, the guy attack. Wow, he's actually being the offensive type. Interesting. At any rate, let's just command absolutely everybody to combine. By calling in a favor, Strauss has forced you to start a vote on the tax-shifted noble obligations law in Poland. He has forced me to start a vote. Tax-shifted noble obligation. I am against it, apparently. I am unsure what this is going to mean. We'll see what happens. At any rate, everybody's combining onto our army. Onto our retinue army, mind you. We'll let our levies relax a little bit. Alright, everyone, converge. You have a new heir. Please stop voting for the lunatic! Concerns about realm stability. You're voting for a lunatic! And you're concerned about the realm stability? I dislike her. And you are concerned about realm stability, even if she takes over. But apparently, this one is a snotty nobleman. Why is she a snotty? Why, why is she considered snotty? Indulgent, fragrant, uh, the fragrant. What? Pregnant. <laughs> Gregarious, proud. How is she? Does anybody know what makes the AI find somebody a snot? 
I'm legit curious because this kept happening even in the playthrough where I just kept playing. A Kagan, a new realm. Kagan Menes me, me, of the Byzantine Empire has decided to abandon the Matic life and settle down in the Byzantine Empire with his followers, making it a new homeland for the Khazar people. Well, weren't you always? I mean. So they're Iconoclasts, but they are Khazars? What are you? Tengri. Yeah! Okay, so the Icona. So the Byzantine Emperor sends somebody into Karantania, a missionary into Karantania, to make them Iconoclast, and then they get taken over by the Tengri. Noise. Alright, let's beat him out. Before they manage to finish that, excelente. Straight into Riga. The Lords of Poland have approved the ins uh, institution of the tax shifted noble obligations law. What does that even mean? Oh, so now they have less tax. Is that it? Noble vassal tax, noble vassal minimum levy. Uh, so, wait, why did you want to increase the noble tax? Oh, I see. Ah, okay, so they increase the tax, but they don't have to levy as much. It's still idiotic why he did that for the nobles, considering we have no nobles yet. But hey, AI. We'll leave it as it is. We have the opportunity to lay claim to Rügen. We're gonna do it. Rugen shall be ours. Uh, you are returning to Dobrzyn. And he says we are busy with another war, so you are forced, so we are forced not to declare that war. But we couldn't do that right now anyway. So first Riga and then possibly Saxony. Let's consider the fact that right now we have 7k units and we still can raise 4k. So we would so we have like 11k versus his probably about the same strength considering the fact that they are tribal which means that he can still call in all of his little lackeys just like I can and this guy is strong as heck. What the hell is that army? Should we make Mm, should we possibly try and make an alliance somewhere to possibly help us? Pannonia, do we? Hey, do we have an alliance? Like you're, you're, you know, married to my daughter, but nope. Political concerns, still, huh? What were you in? Defending against Count Milena of Olomouc in brandenburg pannonian subjugation war. If I join his war, he likes me more, but not enough to get rid of those political concerns. All right. Um, not sure if we could get a marriage or anything anywhere else. Perhaps in Denmark? What are you? You're Germanic pagan. I do have a daughter, mind you. You have a son. They're about the same age. Political concerns, base reluctance, let me see. That's two, five, ten pluses. But a lot more minuses, so even if I, like, gave him a gift or something... His opinion of me is pretty poor. Just because of the religious differences, I'm guessing? Because he'd be perfect to attack Saxony with us. He's right next to him. How much of a gift would I have to send? Eh, that's not that much. We'll see what happens after the war. Like, I'm not... I'm not completely bought on that. There we go. So victory in Riga, and we are on 100%. I, I legit was not paying attention to that. I don't even know if it was 100% before we took Riga, but we took it now. So we have taken land, but... Uh, wait. A different lord, but now we're 9 out of... Uh, well, out of 8. So we could give land, more land to this guy. Though, let me see. This is the Jur of... Okay, so you can be the Jure Lord of that, and this is the Jure of that whole place. So basically, I can make him a, the Lord of these two duchies, and that, that should be fine. So I can give him 
Riga right away. Uh, Grant land the title. Let's give you Riga. I don't know what happened last time I played through, but... Oh! Probably... Right, once you become an empire, I believe that, um... The council even gets to decide who gets land and whatnot. Which is a little bit silly. You would consider that once you have an empire that it should be easier. Um, so let me see. Mm, these guys like us. Returning a favor to this guy. I can request council support. No, I cannot. Conflicting interests? What interest, though? Like, I haven't even put anything to a vote yet. I was gonna put tribal organization to a vote. Implement title revocation committee, implement title grant. Oh, right, it's not when it's an empire, it's tribal organization. So, medium tribal organization gives the council the ability to choose who gets their titles revoked, who gets their. Uh, who gets titles granted. Now, that sometimes does get annoying because if you like revoke, I mean. If you plot to take the land off of a strong vassal, you usually hope that they will rise up in revolt, you beat them up, they are considered a traitor, and you can still revoke even more land from them. But, once the um, granting or rather revocation committee is implemented, you are... <sighs> The Glory Hounds will usually not let you revoke lands from strong vassals. Literally stating, I don't want you to weaken strong vassals. That's their logic. It's stupid, but it's there. Like, you would think that they would want to have more glory for themselves, but no, they're actually looking out for the traitor that just declared uh, declare a revolt against you. Own reform pagan tribal mount. Ah, do we try for this? Right now, I'm not sure because if this guy says no, that's automatically two additional people saying no. And there's no loyalist. There's only pragmatists. Do we have any loyalists? We have. Um, I mean, this is the loyalist, but <laughs> no. Um, I mean, we could just get rid of this guy and appoint this guy. He's a loyalist. He would definitely say yes. But then we would have a weaker diviner. By the way, speaking of divining, uh, Grodno, you are Ramavan. Chelna, are you Ramavan? No, you're Slav, so do something about Chumno. I will do something about Galindia. And what I will do is... Command this guy to Priscillatize there. Now, the chances to Priscillatize are... I mean, to convert are slightly lower until... Subject Religion converted, Heretic Noble... Yeah. I, If I'm not mistaken, it's lower until you... Reform the Faith, but don't take my word on that one. I am not sure. So let's just, I don't know, let's just continue. Do we go for another war? Well, it's not, they're agreeing to that war. Stolp! Why did you... Wait, why is it now known as Stolp and not Slupsk? Also, why did Denmark get that? And now you're gonna have even more political concerns with me, aren't you? we try it? Wait, let me... That's three... Ah, I don't know if giving him a gift will bring... The, I mean, will tip this in our favor. I seriously don't know. I want Rugen... Uh, Rugen really, really badly. By the way, this guy should not be there anymore. anymore. We should tell him to go and... Uh, 
fabricate a claim on Vol Volgast as well. At least that way we will have a direct connection between Rugen and Volgast. What are you? Oh god, you're blind. No, you're disfigured. My bad. And severely injured. You're a Germanic pagan, which means that we could go to for a conquest first. And possibly, oh god, you're homosexual, but you do have kids. You do have a son, so that's nice for you. Uh, I don't know what to do. And this guy is Slav, so I can't attack him. What is that? Let's just... Uh, let's go for Yersika. Everybody's for it. Let's do it. Alright. Our army is already there. Raise the army levies. And immediately command everybody that raised their levies. Threaten the vassal. Excuse you. Yes, threaten him. And tell all the vassals that answer the call to come to this army. <coughs> He's gonna go and try for Zemgla, apparently. You are forgiven. Is he, though? Is he? I wouldn't say so. I'm pretty sure we can beat them with this army. And we are going to be getting some reinforcements. Aren't we? Where are you going? And why aren't you joining? I said join this army. Is there... Oh. One more guy came. Straight into Yersika. Mm, are they gonna actually try and fight that? They're gonna try and fight that. Right, split in half. Take the rest of them. Stras, we should talk some more. Um. Sure. We are now close friends. Right, well, there goes your army. More or less. He's gonna keep trying to get, take Riga. Or rather, siege Riga down. But you're out of time, my friend. Enforce Yersika is ours. And Yersika belongs under that. Okay, so that should be a separate vassal, I would say. So let's find ourselves a character. Men! Good God! You're the only guy, really? Let's. Uh, intrigue. <laughs> Summon launch war sacrifice. Smith uh, present. Invite noble to court or promote commander? I say promote commander. Let's see. You are a good commander. And thus you shall be granted the land of Yersika. And all of the following lands that we take from this guy. Alright, so how old are you? 28. Oh god, wait. Didn't we declare war on somebody older? When did your father die? He was young. Never mind. I was pretty sure we declared war on an older guy, but eh. Apparently not. Uh, can we have any more retinues? We can have one. Do we wait for the horses? Do we wait for the Hussar retinue? As a Polish man, I believe we should. I mean, I'm not Polish, but we're playing Polish, so... Winged Hussars are definitely, definitely a good choice. Though they will cost us gold to re... Not only to buy, but also to reinforce. But we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Uh, we could easily... I was gonna say we could easily go and um, loot with this army that we have right here, but which truce is expiring with that guy? I mean, in the meantime, we can just attack Marienburg uh, or Sambia. Which one do we go for? I say we go for Marienburg. So we'll just declare war for that. Because of the Pragmatist, we cannot declare multiple wars, which is kind of silly. But we'll manage. 
All right, we're just going to block this army, and everybody that raised their armies, please do combine with us. This is a very good thing. Commanding allies to come with you. So you're going to, what, Chelno? That? All right, he's locked. Let's go. Fear not, for the God of Thunder is our protector. He is indeed. All right, reinforcements come in. There we go. There we go. That's an army. And we've won the war without even a single siege. I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, well, that's another war. Um, where else can we attack? <gasps> Saxony took over Pomerania. They're getting even more powerful. I do not like this. But we can now declare conquest. Wait, the deep... No, it's still the same dude, and he's still severely injured. Can I... Could we have him killed? Nope, 30%. That's gonna take a while. So if we do conquest, it's gonna be a problem. Uh, but considering we have Brandenburg right there, if we have Volga, uh, Volgast, we will have a direct passage right there, which is absolutely fine. Uh, the truce with this guy is now over, so we can declare war on that one. Conquest of Del Tuva. Uh, by the way, who we do we give Marienburg to? What do you belong under? Pru... Prufenia. Mm, do we give it to the same guy? I mean, I can give Plock to him now that I know that I can actually build a temple there. You know what? Sure. No, not revoke, not revoke. Grant. I shall give you pluck. There, and we're on 8 out of 8. We might want to just give him these two counties so he actually has two of them. But then again, we might want to wait. Like, he's going to die soon, and his son is going to take over, and then we can just give ooh, these two to his son so that it, we're on once again on 100% with him. So, even though all of our allies were still connected to us, <laughs> they still <laughs> uh, got rid of their levies. Show brave bravery to inspire others. As she is growing older, I can see that Anastasia could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas, the art of war. This is my chance to make an effort for the sake of her education, but what can I offer? She can become stressed. But she could become brave. I'll have to toughen her up. I can become cruel. No. Bravery! There you go! She's brave and she's not stressful. It turned out better than I ex... Out less well than expected. Yep. Yeah, that is definitely less well. Who are you in... Uh, your parent is... The Brandenburgian guy. Oh, well. Oh god. Who the hell died? My daughter Yadwiga died. Is that the one I actually wanted to take over? Yes it is. Died of cancer. So now the only choice is the lunatic. We do have a little boy, but he's a stutter, so that's diplomacy minus one, but at least it's a boy! You're a prisoner in Poland? What? Can I ransom her? I can ransom her. I mean, Anastasia has a list, but she's still better! Go for Anastasia, please, people, go for Anastasia. She's almost, look, she's almost of age. And she's not a snot, I'm sure she's not. <laughs> Except pain to ransom. Good, 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 good. Okay, now people vote for her, please. Please. My marshal tells me that one of my commanders, Pretzlau, has improved significantly. Very nice. Oh, that is very nice. Oh, right! Ah! He's just set on organizing the army. That's why we're getting these commander improves. He's not training troops. Do we need him to train troops? I mean, eh, with the situation right now, I don't think it's needed. I don't think it's necessary. I might... You have a new heir. Thank God! 
If I'm gonna play as a woman, I might as well play as a strong woman, right? I'm gonna win this! Yeah, I won the race. Four score and force demands. There we go. So this is a part of this. Uh... Yep, it's a part of Lithuania. Oh god, you two are gonna fight each other for this. Though I could, you know, re revoke Zmutz and give him to this guy. Give it to this guy, so he actually has the entirety of Lithuania. That way, he won't. They won't go fighting each other, and I get to label this guy a traitor. I like this idea. I'm starting to like it. He's literally the only one. Well, him and Siemovit are literally the only ones that still hate me right now. What's the intrigue he's looking like? Gnome plots. High chiefess Milena wants to kill. Hey, Milena. How about no? But eh. All right. Um. Right. This is also something that I can do. Just ransomable. Yes. And it collects all of the ransomable ones. Thank you very much for this tip. And I can just click. Ransom prisoners. Are there any lords? Like I don't want to release any lords that I don't want to release. Nope. Alright. Ransom prisoners, 188 gold, just like that. Hmm, just like that. I'll do it. Uh right, so you wait, why am I also the Lord of Kono? Right, so you, Lord of Wilno, I will grant you Kovno. Here. Let's keep it on 8 out of 8. I just want to make sure that we keep getting money. Though we won't be getting money, I should have just given him that one first. Ah, that was a stupid move on my side. Um, no, let me see. Can we... Can I declare war on you yet? Not yet. A couple more months. You're still the same guy, I believe. Wait a minute, what? He's considering another... Oh, he's considering a... Aha, ransom deal. Can I declare war on this guy? Yes, I can. And what does that belong under? Just out of curiosity. Sakala. Those three. I mean, I will be able to attack Yava next, so that's fine. Sure, let's go. We're just... I just want to make sure that we can possibly... Get... Uh, the Windish Empire going. Yep, they're accepting ransoms, good. I refuse to pay your extortionate ransom demand for Agita. Do you? Are you that poor? What about for your wife, maybe? But I am getting money, which is fine, which is... Ooh. That is quite the army you have there, sir. To the filthy spider. I mean, why filthy? I I can be a spider, sure, but why do you gotta get personal, man? Why you gotta get nasty? There are hor what the patriarch Svetodrak, a preacher in the service of King Vladimir of Karantania, has arrived in Krakow to spread the gospel of their foreign religion. He has little regard for our old faith, declaring it sinful. And he has explained in details the horror we, horrors we shall suffer in the afterlife unless we mend our ways. This man is spitting on the name of Perun, our literal protector of the house of the Golden Sisi. There are horrors to suffer in this life as well, friend. Hate us all you want. I am imprisoning that guy, and you know what? I do not wish for him to be in this group. Is he in this group? He should be. Svetodrag, there he is. Exclude him. So we'll ransom everybody but him. He stays. He will suffer for those blasphemous words. How 
dare he? Right? <laughs> oh, you're actually fighting back. Open console position. Chancellor. Chief of Kuya. Oh, I mean, you're good. You're good. You're a pragmatist. You are incapable. Are you that old or what? Where does it... You've got lover's box. You're fat. You're a poet. Lustful. Cancer. Why are you incapable? Uh, Bretzlow is incapable. Why? Oh, he's bedridden. That's why. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who are you returning, Strasov? You just made it into the council. How are you already owing, Stras? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, 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 they think they're winning. Council position, chancellor. Well, that was that was quick. <laughs> you, <laughs> you're my new counselor. Ah, uh, three loyalists. One of them is still Strasis' mm, B-word. Let's just leave it at that. All right, let's go. Uh, should we wait for the... Oh, we've already locked in. Uh, let's get a good commander there. Good. Let's go. We're gonna get some more reinforcements. Come, come. Come, come. There we go. The world will not weigh me down anymore. I have new inspiring... I have a new spring in my step, joy in my heart, and a smile on my face. Wait, were we stressed? I completely forgot about that. Or did that happen during one of these two episodes? <laughs> okay, so we're not stressed anymore. There we go. Excellent. At 48 years of age, can we please have another child that is possibly going to be a son? Pretty please? Pretty please? With a cherry on top. Where are you going? Why to Talava? Sure, I'll beat you to there. Why is this guy going everywhere except where he's supposed to go, aka into our army? Where is this? Now they're going to Tartu. I mean, this is the war goal, so we're just gonna go for the war goal for now. Uh, my marshal tells me that one of my commanders has improved significantly. Excellent, you're an aggressive leader now. Ooh, that's a nice addition. Are you in my army right now? Why are you not... Wait, why are you selected as a commander, but you're not in my army? Is is he leading one of his own armies? Possibly. Uh, what is going on over here? Oh, God. Are the Swedes going to try and take a random piece of land that I'm aiming for? Are they actually going to do that? They might. They actually might. Alright, well, victory. That's 100%. Enforce the mans. Nya ha ha! Um, the main, once again, too big. We said this belongs under, like, that. So this should be a new lord. Fine characters. Let's see. Who is capable? None of these pe people are particularly capable. Can we... I don't know. I like commanders. But then again, I could just invite a random noble to our court. That's gold. That's prestige. But also gold. Alright, let's just go with the usual gold. 16! Sure! And in case somebody dies... Like, my steward dies, you would actually make a pretty good steward. Uh, I can give you... What is this called? Liv... Livima. There you go. You are now a lord. Congratulations. You were nobody yesterday. Now you are a lord. I mean, to be fair, he was a noble. 
Uh, Alright, so we're slowly, slowly inching towards Novgorod. We're still waiting for... Oh. Good thing I noticed that. Due to our Chancellor dying, we were no longer fabricating a claim on Volgast. We do want that claim. Saxony, you're, you're becoming a nuisance. I mean, you've been a nuisance ever since the start, but you're becoming a bigger nuisance now. Also, apparently there's a revolt in Bohemia. Is there a new king, or is this still the same king? Still the same one. All right. Well, at any rate, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. I will see you guys next time. And until then, as always, if you enjoy what I do, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe. You know how that goes. And please do consider sharing this video with your friends, with like-minded individuals, with your family, anyone. <laughs> it helps this channel a whole, whole lot. Let's get there. I will see you next time. And until then, Ad Gloriam.